almost four months in the making of this video. Hmm. Let help it does good. <clears throat> Xbox Game Pass. Was it worth it? Yes. Today we are going to see how much money I've saved over the past three months by doing Xbox Game Pass. To be fair, I got the January f the special promo where you do it for a dollar and you get three months instead of what they have now, which is a month for a dollar. So I, I, did, I did have a little bit more time. I also got experience like the alpha version of the cloud service. Let me say, if you do not have a powerful computer right now, and you have decent internet connection, I would go with that. I've played a couple of games like Control, uh, downstairs living room to just have fun with it, have a family experience of playing a game, or at least people watching me play a game while downstairs. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to go in order of all the games that I streamed, and they're all going to be a minute or shorter, and we're going to tally up all of the uh, how much it costs for each individual game. We're going to see how much we save at the end. I'm going to add taxes just to have it harder on myself. All right, let's have the video begin. Slay the Spire, roguelike card game where you build a deck and you climb the spire until you face all the bosses. And you keep climbing and climbing and climbing. You can choose up to four characters. Ironclad, which I like to call the Iron Chad. The Silence. The Watcher. And then uh, one that I really had a janky version. The Defect. Oh man, the Defect. <laughs> oh, just become Thor. Lightning, 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 lightning. The ultimate goal is to get a win on three of the original characters three times and then beat the heart at the end. I beat it with the Watcher with the most cheeky strategy. $25 for this game? <laughs> Pretty good game. Undermined, a uh, platformer-esque roguelike. Collect over like tens of hundreds of relics to make your character overpowered. <laughs> and collect gold, gold, and more gold. Hmm. You can also use that gold to buy things in the shop. Or, when you die, which you are going to die a lot, you can upgrade your weapons and health bar for more and more power. I'll show you to kill it all now. These awesome bosses, they like this fire lizard that took way too long for me. In a twist boss fight that you're probably going to be disappointed in challenge, but it is, is pretty goofy. 1999. Also, uh, I give this game a 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed my time with it. It was short but sweet. By short but sweet, I mean like 40 hours plus. Definitely a lot. Monster Train. Uh, your demon race trying to survive for civilization because the angels had beef with you, basically. It's a lot like Slay the Spire. You build a deck and you go through multiple different paths that you choose and you collect different items on and cards on the way. I just feel like the Slay the Spider boss were way better. Even though there wasn't as many, it just felt more variety and more consequences of what they can do. The toughest I think I fought in Monster Train was a card d discarding one. Like every time you used a card every turn, you would discard that spell card. That, that was pretty much about it. Well, I will give Monster Train, and Monster Train has a way more variety and be better graphics than Slay the Spire. Uh, I give this a game of 6 out of 10. I have to at least give it a good rating because I played over like 70 hours on it, so it had to be at least decent, right? <laughs> Me and being addicted to card best game. Same price as Slay the Spider, $25. Oop, oop. It's a game where you play as an ape trying to get out of multiple different scenarios. First, you get out of a scientist lab, then you get out of a uh, skyscraper, like 52 floors or something like that. And then you get out of a military bunker with military men with flamethrowers. Then you get out 
of a boat, and then t when you get out of like a cargo ship boat, you have to get out of another cargo ship boat, which I did not find 69, unfortunately. So my bad. <laughs> I tried to find cargo 69. I tried. I give this game a nine out of ten. Makes you feel like ape. Makes you feel like ape. And oh man, the music. Oh, they have even their own vinyl. These are the artists. Riff everyone. Besides Sax Guy, Sax Guy is still going on strong. <laughs> Ape out fifteen dollar. Karen, you play as a dead meat monster trying to escape a laboratory with tons of scientists, guards, and drones. And I gotta say, it's hilariously fun just swinging the drones and people around. It really does make you feel like an apex predator. As the meat monster, you find radioactive material to grow stronger and get new abilities. Once in a while, you will find these chambers to look into the past that you were probably human at one point. $20? I gave it a 7 out of 10, a good experience overall. I'll leave you off with disgusting tentacles. <laughs> Meat. After dying in lava for the millionth time in Minecraft, and losing all your precious items, why won't you relax at Dony County? A relaxing game where you just void in every object imaginable, then realize that you're working for a giant raccoon overlord of of a mass monopoly destruction overlord currency nonsense jimbo jambo with funny quirky characters. Learn all about the funny quirky characters on your journey through trying to get out of the void and back to the surface. Also defeat the king capitalist raccoon. And everybody can work in harmony. The end. Ah, <laughs> uh, $13. Give it a go. Bridge Construction Portal Edition, <laughs> basically. Oh man, this was a fun game to just build a bunch of bridges and make weird contraptions that even somehow I made it to work where one stage probably wasn't as intended, but I, I really felt accomplished in that. It's a total of 60 stages and they start changing it up by adding portals. Huh, who knew? Adding portals in, in the game where it has portal in the title. <laughs> Anyways, uh, game's $10 and it's actually one of the quite cheaper ones. I give this a uh, 7 out of 10. Welcome Melee 2 talks about a game that a evil sorcerer comes back to reclaim his old forgotten power from the first game. Now you play as a retired old superhero that uh, has to get all his powers back and <laughs> he can also play multiplayer with his other crew members up to four players. Metroidvania-esque game that you can turn, instead of a morph ball, you turn into a chicken. A chicken. And instead of shooting, you're beating up and platforming. Big time. Di differently than how... Bleh. These p balls are annoying! <laughs> Anyways. <coughs> All it's a collectibles that increase your health. And then you... Yeah, well, I wonder if it looks... Hmm, Metroid. 20 bucks. Add to the can. It was good. Didn't finish it, unfortunately. Terraria. Think of it like Minecraft, but 2D. And then it's actually fun to play with an Xbox controller. <laughs> Explore and build. Find weird looking enemies and then have somebody from the internet give you all the godlike items while he digs this down for you. <laughs> yeah, my experience with Terraria was kind of spoiled, but I did really enjoy playing the game with uh, with the Xbox controller and stuff. It felt really nice. It was like, wow, this feels really good to play. 7 out of 10, $10 added. Do you like Castlevania? Do you like Boopa? Then here's your perfect anime game. <laughs> so many collectibles, so many things to buy and shop for. I only played it for four hours, uh, but man, it's the most expensive out of all of it at forty dollars. And uh, it left like th three days before I could finish it. And it's like no, 
Ah, uh, I was so close. And so much money to save. So yeah, it's like ah. Uh, I mean, at least I'm glad that I got to experience it. And so some of the boss fights, like the dragon one, was really crazy looking. This is actually the first game that I used the uh, Xbox Cloud service. Pretty decent. I would say that uh, my computer will surely run this game correctly, so I'm glad that I got a taste of the action. And dear lord, the snake boss. I, or, he's not called Snake, but the voice actor in it is awesome that he's even in this game. Oh, uh, he's, he's tough. I even grind a little bit and then this still happens. He's not dying. You will die a lot on this if you didn't grind for some spells or got some magical power. Which is more jazzable. Anyways, what I the flip? Flame sword! What? Did some Roy? <laughs> oh shoot, I was playing around. Command and conquer. You first choose a side, the scorpions or the eagles, I'm just gonna say. And go on different types of mission with different types of challenges. You can build base on some, some you don't have a good base, you just have to waltz, waltz around and find the exit. There's different objectives. And my personal favorite about this game is the fact that there's cutscenes and cheesy acting. <laughs> it's really good. And the animation for the time, and still now, is pretty decent, I would have to say. Uh, 20 smackaroons. I gave it a good 6 out of 10. It's very enjoyable to play in the little time that I did. Gato Rubato. <laughs> at first I thought it was something about the hood. The ghetto life, Spanish cat and his comrade, which starts off with this 42069. <laughs> they know, they know the meme. It's a Metroid Escavena game where you can play as like a cat and you can get in and make suit and a sub if you're lucky. Once in a while, you shall fight this rat that has an evil plot to try to become human or something of that sort. I don't want to spoil too much, but yes, he, he, he eventually does it. Also, probably one of the worst water levels in the history of water levels. <laughs> oh my god! By worst, I mean challenging. <laughs> I give this a 6 out of 10, a very good first experience, and I bet a lot of people are going to enjoy how short it is, so you can get all speedrunny on this one. It's the cheapest out of the game, coming at $8. Lonely Mountains Downhill. This is a game where you are a biker, and a very good one at that, because I can't imagine trying to go downhill with a bike right now, and barely any experience. But man, playing this game makes you feel like a biker. It is very relaxing to hear the surreal birds and wind noise. I didn't get to play all the mountains, but the two mountains that I did get to see is like a grassy plain and then an autumn-esque uh, plain spring, hot spring type area, you could say. Man, it was relaxing to play this game. It's slight frustrating at times. <laughs> Them rocks. I give it a six. It's good. Twenty dollars into the breach. You play like three different robots, and then they have humans operating the robots. And if, if you uh, lose one of your units, they're dead for an entire game, but they're replaced with a robot inside a robot robo ship. I played it for an hour and fifty-three minutes, I believe, and I beat it on each mode, so it was a pretty smooth time. It's very enjoyable. Like, beating the game probably takes like 20, 30 minutes on easy. The only predicament I have with this game is that the music selection is very small. I think it might only actually have one track, but I'm not sure. Did I mention we fight bugs? <laughs> Good overall experience. Uh, $15 for Into the Reach. Added to the total. Banjo and Kazooie. My first time playing Banjo and Kazooie, and I said to the bowl, No, I don't want tutorial help. And then I got lost. It was hilarious. Man, and then I asked for the help from the mole, and then he repeats uh, again and again. He's like, Oh, yeah, you didn't ask for my help, so you don't get no help. You little, little bear and bird. <laughs> like, that, that was so charming. And the characters have so many movesets. It's quite, quite amazing. So, so many little things to collect, little trinkets to get. 
And uh, if you collect enough humming combs, you can get the, another life pack. Man, the platforming is smooth, the characters are cute. And uh, Gruntilda has a sister that completely annoys me because of how many bad names that she calls the main villain. Of course, the main villain is trying to get her beauty back, so. <laughs> Pikaniku, you play as a red monster that everybody in the town thinks is freaky, but in reality you're not frightening at all, and when they see that, you're not frightening at all. Uh, on one part, you can like make this scarecrow thing and draw, I drew Kirby. Uh, you have this pink lad that wants to, you know, fully corrupt the world. Money, money, you get free money for your resources, blah 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 blah. You defeat him. And then, on uh, probably one of the craziest stages ever, these annoying balls out of nowhere. The balls are not fun. Uh, and then two balls are just too strong. Like, I got your two balls there. Uh. Oh my lord, I did it! What a pop off! Oh god! I give this game easily a 10 out of 10. Probably my favorite game out of this whole game path. Uh, besides another one, you know, under terror, that will be, have its own video. Snake Pass, a game where you are a snake and you control like a snake, where you grip your all your muscles, test and tense up, tense, tense, tense. You also have your little buddy, his little hummingbird. Hello, little hummingbird. The real reason why I put this on this list, I didn't even beat the game yet. It was an hour and like 43 minutes that I gave it. The real reason is because it has Snake Pass in the game and I wanted to make this Snake Pass, Game Pass, Snake Pass, Game Pass, Snake Pass, Pass Game, Game Snake. Ah! Goner 2. You play as this little jelly bean looking thing that flops around. You collect a skull, a backpack, and a weapon of your choosing when you collect more. You have a total of four bosses that I got through anyways. An octopus, a, a building, a bird, and three eyeballs. <laughs> Just, and a mouth. <laughs> man. Goofy. I love the art style, man. But what really ruins it for me is the fact that when you get a really good street combo it goes all color crazy on you it literally shakes around everywhere and just ruins the experience for me uh, i played about an hour to two on this game and then when it started doing the shaking thing i was actually feeling nauseous for once it's like wow ah! four out of ten that, that really did hurt my eyes. Undertale deserves his own very complicated video, so here's just Dalgo going up in just space. <laughs> Alright, as we can see, the number is... But I'm not done yet! Combining everything besides Snake Pass, ah! we get a total of $332. Minus one, because I used a dollar to use this, so $331.09 saved. <laughs> what a video. Wow. <sighs> I don't know if it's as long as the 2018 meme video I made, but this is definitely my second or first longest project. And thanks, Garbage Man. Let's see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, like, it was fun to make, 
And uh, I rounded up the numbers, as you could tell, just to make it easier on myself, instead of point nine 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 on everything, because everything is nine 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 cents most of the time. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.